today. And just taking a look at a player that's going the opposite way of Harry Kane. Wataru Endo, by the looks of things, a 30-year-old Stuttgart midfielder who's been given permission to travel to England for transfer talks and a medical with Liverpool. Let's talk a little bit more about this, shall we? We welcome in Frank LeBuff as well to the panel. But let me start first with you, Jan. What more can you tell us about this player? Well, first of all, the Liverpool fans, if this guy cost £100 million and he came from South America, everybody will love him because that is how, how the transfer window is now. Uh, but we, we do know that this was not the first alternative Bayern, no, sorry, Liverpool had. And it was maybe a surprise mid, mid Endo. But I will just tell you that Endo is 30 years of age. He's a captain of Stuttgart. He's a holding midfielder. He's one of those players with a lot of in, en energy. He's all over, the, all over the pitch. He's covering spaces for, for, his, for his teammates. Very popular guy at Stuttgart, great attitude. And when I heard the news yesterday, I was calling a bit around to the players he played with and people at Stuttgart, and they, they just praised him big time. I'm not saying that this is, uh, this is the biggest signing of the transfer window, but I got a feeling that they've done their homework here, although the homework has been, doing, uh, been done late. I think this could be a smart signing for them. Uh, I, I don't want to kind of... Uh, comparing with other players, but because then people will say, "Yeah, he is as good as that player." But if you if you if you think of the players, the way he's playing, this is kind of a Makalele kind of type player. I'm not saying he's as good as Makalele at, at his best. Where they get a leader, they get Endo. I have a feeling that this could be a cult hero at Liverpool. Oh, what do you think about that, Stevie? Well, I, it's interesting. Klopp was talking about him the other day. And he's basically, the way Clock explained it, he was basically a younger version of James Milner. You know, he will, do, he will do a job, he will get a job done. And right now, Liverpool needs somebody in the middle of the park who is just going to defend, because they do not have that. And you also have a guy who will be fantastic in the dressing room. Jan's just confirmed it, calling all his mates. Everybody loves him, same as they love James Milner. There's not a person who talks badly about James Milner. So... For me, this is a younger version of James Milner. And James Milner did a job. And that's what Liverpool absolutely right now need. We saw it against Chelsea. They need somebody in the middle of the park who's just going to do the dirty work, get around, get the ball and give it. No fancy stuff, no frills, no nutmegs, no nothing. Just good, honest, hard work. That's that. That kind of doesn't do the guy justice. He's not just a guy that works hard. He's a better player than that. But the basics of it is exactly what Liverpool need, and that's what Ender will give them. Does that sound like the right fit to you, Robbo? Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, I, I say all midfield players should be good defensively. They should be able to get around the pitch. They should be able to read danger, make tackles, make the opposition struggle to play against them and then have that little bit of quality on the ball, as you can see from his goals and his assists. He's not going to be in the top third of the field making goals, but what he will do is keep the play moving, and he'll make sure when the opposition have the ball, he'll be good defensively. He'll get in behind his fullbacks when they go forward. He'll go and press with the, with the forwards when they need to. So I think it's a very good signing. Frank, in the game against Chelsea, did you notice that this is what Liverpool are needing? Yes, definitely. And I, I, I will go with what Stevie was saying you know, about the fact that some players need to, to be like, uh, like pit bulls, like dogs. Like when they, they get your calf, you know, they don't let go and, they, and, and you will have to fight hard to get rid of them. That's what Milner was. Uh, that was what even Anderson was at some point, And it's what Liverpool needs. Uh, I found, I found the, uh, the, the midfield, uh, the middle of the park, very technically good but defensively still weak in a way that they don't have that player that they're desperate to have. Like Chelsea, losing Kante is a big problem, it's a big issue. You have to find players who are ready to do, as Stevie said again, the bad job. And that's, that's what that guy is supposed to do. And uh, that, that's, what, that's what Liverpool needs. No, I know, I know. So many Liverpool fans are not happy with this. Because we were linked to Caicedo, we wanted Lavia, some glamorous superstars. We have we have an idea of and what they can do. The fact that we are not getting that, we are getting a 30-year-old who's coming from Stuttgart, who is an Asian player. Everyone is freaking out. I just hope that people can give this guy a chance. 
he is red he is Liverpool player now why can't we trust him why can we allow him to try and show us what he can offer us because everyone are in his tail everyone like that talking about right now on ESPN so many Liverpool fans are gonna say that because he's not from he's not from South America we don't know anything about him he's a flop not given a chance to come and prove himself one thing that I've heard we did the same thing with Alessandro Martinez. We looked at him and we said that because of you, who he was, he will not be his short as what. But we have a guy here who has already proved in Europe's top five in a team that was meant to be relegated and he kept it in. Why can't we give Wataru a chance to prove himself? I want us to, uh, to at least to have a hope that Klopp knows what he's doing. As much as it hurts, as much as it seems like we are not getting the stars we are being linked to by so many journalists, it hurts. But this is who we have right now. We need a defensive midfield. And at the moment, it's him. Why can't we allow him to prove himself to us? I feel like what Harry is going to surprise the world. I feel like he's going to actually offer more than what the world is keep thinking. I think what Haru is actually going to be the guy that changes so many people's mind the reason why club gave him a four-year contract is because he believed in him and because he is red we always follow our reds the idea of you never walk alone was never made out from the skies and it just became thing i'm gonna be following this guy and i can't wait to see what he does even though that thing is gonna be playing a mina henderson bro and we're gonna buy more of course we need more we need the, the midfielders but I'm going to give this guy a chance. Let's see what he will give us. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think of the signing of Wataru Endo? And Wataru, welcome to Liverpool. You never walk alone. Peace.